Okay, we're going to go over using the CABS MCG Manager program to allow you to upload your individual CDGs in order to utilize on the CABS USB players, but it also works for their laptop as well. One of the first things you want to do is you have your home computer. You're either going to use uh, a thumb drive, especially for the USB players, you can use a thumb drive that's up to 64 gigabyte, but most often we recommend don't going past 32. If you need to go with a larger drive, you want to use the larger drives, and we'll show you one right here, larger drive that has the power source. You always want to make sure that it's in FAT32. One of the first things you want to do is go to your drive, and you want to make sure you have the removable disk here. Click into that. There's no folder right now, so you can make a folder. You can call it CDG songs and so forth. We're going to call it karaoke songs, okay? So you have that. Then what you're going to do is now that the drive is set up, you're going to initiate the MCG Manager program. Now the MCG Manager program basically has two boxes. Where are you getting the songs and where are you putting them? In this case, we're going to pick the target. We know that it's on the removable drive, the karaoke song folder, and it will load it up. You see that it's there. Because there's hardly any songs in it, it's not going to take any time at all. But if you were to load a bunch of songs on it, it does get a little bit longer each time you have more songs. So in this case, now what we're going to do is we basically put in a CDG into the CD-ROM. You'll notice that there's going to be a box that pops up. A lot of people have their uh, media player on their computer and it might automatically pop up to try to play the disc. If that happens, which you see right there, just X out of it. You don't want to do that. So now you're picking your source because you want to pick the CD. So now you want to go to the audio CD and you pick that. Okay, you'll see that it came up with a CD which has 15 tracks on it. Now what you're going to do for um, demonstration purposes, we're just going to choose one. So we'll go like this. We checked one and you want to check the CABS file right here. Now, you notice that it doesn't have the title or singer. One of the first things you could do is go into settings. There's what's called FreeDB. That's free database. You want to make sure that your computer is hooked up to the internet. You click this, it's going to search for the song on the disk. And you notice that it brought it all up here, but let's say it doesn't. What you would need to do is just double click, type in the title, double click, type in the singer. Now, we have this one CD chosen. What you need to do next is you need to index it, which is basically called, you're gonna start from 00001, so basically five numbers. So it starts at one, okay. See how it put one right here? That means you have one song that's going to go in there. Now what you want to do is you want to encode it. The one thing that we want you to do is uncheck the title field and then go ahead and press start. And then what it does is it's going to capture and encode it. What it's basically doing is it's making two different files. It's making a graphic file and an audio file which is going to be compatible to be read on the CABS player because the CABS player is proprietary and utilize what's called MCG and that's the file extension. It's really no different than any other file, it's just the way the program was wrote to be able to, to read it. And since CABS was one of the first people that <coughs> excuse me, ever came up with the technology for digital for the most part, that's why they made proprietary and so forth. But you're going to be able to transfer CDG disc, even a DVD karaoke, you just, that's going to be a different process altogether. You can transfer over uh, download songs from the internet and run them through here and so forth. <clears throat> so this takes a little bit of time, but I wanted to make sure I was explaining a couple things uh, why you're waiting and so forth. And that's why I only chose one song. Now, one of the other things that's on here that you could uh, that you could do is there's also different buttons here search songs so you could actually search for songs that you already put on there most people probably don't even use it and so forth but that is there for you and so forth the way it's going to put it is it's going to put it in title and artist you do have the option of putting title 
artist. You could even put more information in there, such as the, the actual manufactured disc and so forth. It's almost done. Got about 10% uh, remaining. And what's going to happen when this is done, it's basically probably going to tell you that it's done or this box is going to disappear. So let's see what happens. Okay. It went back to completed. See how that does it? And you could start a new one. So just go ahead and close this. Now you see the one song? It converted it to the MCG, which is your graphic file, then the MP3. Now it also makes what's called an English.inx, so you want to make sure that's there. The juke text and the Super CDG file. The Super CDG file basically is if you wanted to make your own Super CDG disk. The juke text file is, is a text file where every time you add songs, it's basically making a song listing for you. So what you would have to do is you would actually have to go into the computer on the drive, choose this, and save it to your desktop, then open it up in Excel, and you can manipulate it from there. So that's pretty much it as far as uh, going ahead and converting uh, CDGs. And when you do the next one, let's say I want to do another one, you could put it in another disk and so forth. And what you're going to always remember is to always index. So we only did one song, so we stopped at number one. So you automatically have to start at number two and press OK. It's a very simple process. Like I said, sometimes when you have a lot of music on there, you want to make sure that you, uh, you wait for it to load up. Another thing that we suggest, let's say you already have a drive that's in regular MP3 format and it will not work on the Cavs product. Let's say it's 5,000 songs. We suggest if let's say this drive had 5,000 songs and we went and put this and it came up with all 5,000, we would tell you to choose check one through let's say 500. Once you do one through 500, transfer it over, then do 501 to 1,000. Break it up. Do not try to do a large music pack all in one because that will bog down the system. So that's pretty much it as far as uploading your regular CDGs.